Hey, Searchlight, Pastor Chris here. Welcome to day eight of our online daily devotional based on the new Elevation Worship album, Graves to Gardens. And uh, listen, I want to just remind you before we get into it, make sure that you like, comment, and share these videos. It's a great way to uh, spread a little bit of hope and cheer during this time and also introduce people to Searchlight Church and hopefully to Jesus, right? So uh, let's dive right into it. It's our last day today, and uh, it's based on a song off the album called The Blessing, which is inspired by uh, a prayer of blessing that God gave to the people of Israel in Numbers chapter 6. Let me read it to you. I'm sure you've heard it before, but this is a prayer that God instructed um, the priests to pray over the people of Israel. He said this in Numbers. He said, the Lord, the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons to bless the people of Israel with this special blessing. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you peace. Whenever Aaron and his sons bless the people of Israel in my name, I myself will bless them. The song, The Blessing, was inspired by, uh, by this prayer. And uh, if you go ahead and listen to the song, um, you'll hear the words, and they go this way. Let me read it to you. Uh, there's this awesome bridge, right, where it builds up, and it says, May his favor be upon you in a thousand generations, and your family and your children and your ch their children and their children. May his presence go before you behind you, beside you, all around you, and within you. He is with you. He is with you. In the morning, in the evening, in your coming and your going, in your weeping and rejoicing, He is for you. You know, there's two things that are mentioned in this song that I think are so important to the life of every follower of Jesus. Two things in this prayer of blessing, and I think they're worth uh, considering today as we wrap up this devotional series. Two things that we ask God for. Number one, God's favor. May his favor be upon you. Here's a great definition of the favor of God. It says, the favor of God can be described as a divine kindness or an act of true compassion on the part of God himself toward needy and undeserving human recipients. Oftentimes in scripture, this act of God towards unworthy men or women is referred to as God's grace, which means the unmerited favor of God. One of the things that we all should be praying for, what the blessing of God would be God's favor. Have you ever experienced God's favor in your life? I know I have. I remember when we first started Searchlight, we had 30 or 40 people and we needed a place to meet. And someone that I knew from another church arranged a meeting with Dr. Farina, the then superintendent of Long Branch Schools. I remember being nervous and not knowing what to expect, but I remember walking into that meeting where we were going to ask if we could rent space from Long Branch Schools. And I remember praying for God's favor, that God would go before us and do something amazing. You know, we walked into that meeting. Uh, Dr. Farina asked, uh, asked me, what do you feel your church should is going to do for the community? And I talked about loving families and caring for people and spreading the gospel and bringing hope to the children and to the families. You know, 10 minutes into that meeting, Dr. Farina grabbed his car keys and he said, come on, take a ride with me and let's look at all the school's in Long Branch, and you tell me what school you want to rent for your church to meet. Man, it was like crazy. It was God's favor going before us and opening up a door. That was the beginning of Searchlight Church. I don't know what you're praying for, but one of the things we need in the blessing of our lives is the favor of God. But here's the second thing, and this is even more important. The prayer is not just for God's favor, but God's presence. And the song is so powerful. May, may your presence go before us and behind us and all around us. Uh, in our weeping, in our rejoicing, would your presence be with us? You're there with us, all around us, in front of us, behind us, and beside us. The presence of God 
is so important in our lives. It reminds me of something that happened between Moses and God. We can read about it in Exodus chapter 33, where God was getting ready to bring the children of Israel into the promised land. And God and Moses have this little conversation. In Exodus chapter 33, it says this, the Lord replied, verse 14, I will personally Go with you, Moses, and I will give you rest. Everything will be fine for you. Then Moses said, if you don't personally go with us, don't make us leave this place. How will anyone know that you look favorably on me, on me and your people, if you don't go with us? And then listen to this. It's amazing what he said. For your presence among us sets your people and me apart from all other people on the earth. Guys, the presence of God is really where it's at. We need God's presence even more than his favor. We need his very presence to be with us. That's why worship is so important, you know, like that it says he inhabits the praises of his people, that we need his presence. Oftentimes we're wondering, what's the secret sauce? Like, how do we get blessed? You know, people say, oh, hashtag blessed. You know, my life is going awesome. Like, how do we experience everything that God has for us? Listen, guys, it has everything to do with the presence of God in our lives. Let me leave you with this. God, God would you bless us by letting your presence be in us. Here's the lesson that I think we have to take away today as we wrap up this devotional. The blessing is not about what God does for us. The blessing is that God's presence is with us. That's where the blessing is. So many times people say, oh, life's going good. It's going awesome. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. But the reality is, like, look, in the good times, in the bad times, in our coming and in our going, when things are great and when they're horrible and difficult, the blessing is your favor and your presence that would be with us. Guys, could you join me in praying for the presence of God, no matter what our circumstances are, no matter what's happening in the world around us, we need more than ever the presence of God in our lives. If we, like Moses, if we don't have your presence, what will set us apart from everyone else out there in the world? We need the presence of God. Let me actually pray that for you today, that God's presence would fill your life. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your mercy and your grace in our lives. God, we echo this prayer of blessing. Lord, will your favor be upon us and will your presence be with us, God. We need your presence. As we bring this devotional to an end with everything that we've been talking about and everything in the You in Five Years series that we've been learning on Sundays, God, all of it uh, is trumped by your presence in our lives. We need your presence. And so I pray for every person who's watching this video, God, would you grant us that blessing of having your presence in our lives so that the world will know that we're set apart that we're different from everything else because of your presence that goes before us and behind us and all around us. Be with us the rest of this uh, week and give us a great Memorial Day as we remember all the sacrifices that those uh, people have made for us to live in this great country. Thank you, God. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, truly be blessed today by God's favor and God's presence in your life. Have an awesome holiday. Like, share, and comment on this video, and we'll see you guys for on Wednesday night for our online communion and worship night. God bless you guys. Have an awesome Memorial Day.